Sadly to say, as you know, essentially all cervical cancer, most of it could be completely eliminated if we get the vaccine out to everybody. And what is remarkable to me is that our vaccination rate in this country, is, in this country, is still very low. Uh, if you go into third world nations, it's low, but we kind of understand that it's expensive. It's difficult to get there. We don't really have an excuse. So um, luckily we have, back, we have the backup as pap smears, which work fine, but still we need to have much better, much better penetration um, of the um, population with vaccine, HPV vaccine, and that includes uh, boys, which has now been approved. So that'll, make a, that'll have a huge effect. I think um, for treatment, we still have this subset of patients who are not operable. They get chemo radiation. Chemo radiation is quite effective, clearly cures patients, but there's a subset of patients, the tumor comes back, and then um, extremely difficult to deal with. Um, small percentage of those patients are exoneration candidates, and I still think an exempt is a procedure I want to see disappear because it's so horrific, um, regardless of the fact that it can salvage patients. So we need to get better therapies for those patients. And then finally, unfortunately, there are the patients who develop met, you know, metastatic disease, recurrent metastatic disease. One study that shows positive combination, the one with bevacizumab, but we need something better for them.